Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Monday, September 25th, 2023, Monday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law, upon love of you and of our neighbor. Grant that, by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke chapter 8 verses 16 through 18. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowd, No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand, so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that will not become visible, and nothing secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care, then, how you hear. To anyone who has, more will be given. And from the one who has not, even what he seems to have will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Today's Gospel reminded me of the movie Dead Poets Society, where Robin Williams' character, who was a teacher at an all-boys school, tells his students, Carpe diem, seize the day. In today's gospel, Jesus speaks to us about the importance of seizing today and bringing our faith into the light for all to see and understand. He compares faith to a lamp that is not meant to be hidden, but rather to be placed on a stand so that its light may illuminate the entire room. He emphasizes that nothing is hidden that will not be made manifest, nor is anything secret that will not be known and come to light. This passage challenges us to reflect on the authenticity of our faith and to take action. Are we living our faith openly, allowing it to shine forth in our words and deeds, or are we hiding it away, keeping it in the shadows? Faith is not a private matter, and for the sports fans out there, it's not a spectator sport. It's meant to be shared and witnessed by others. When we live our faith openly, we become that lamp on a stand illuminating the lives of those who are around us with the light of Christ's love and truth. St. John Paul II once said, Do not be afraid. Do not be satisfied with mediocrity. Put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. These words remind us that faith requires courage and depth. It calls us to go beyond the surface, to cast our nets wide and be unafraid, to let the light of our faith shine brightly. We're called to dive deeply into our relationship with God and boldly share our faith with the world. And so today, let's pray that our faith will be just like a lamp, illuminating the way for others, bringing clarity, hope, and transformation to those who God has placed on our path. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers, which includes today's rosary and a series of daily Catholic prayers.